a lot of what I make on this channel is dictated by my cravings. Today I'm craving some prawns and that means we're going to make some prawns. For today's recipe, kambawa kupaka. And as you can see, all my ingredients are laid out. There are quite many, but they're going to work together perfectly. If you're yet to subscribe, please do. And for everyone watching, karibuni sana. I, I love having you as part of K-Nation and I hope you enjoy this video. We always begin every single recipe with some oil in our pan together with some salt. Now to this, we're going just to add our diced red onion, my minced garlic, and my minced ginger. We're going to mix everything together and allow it to simmer on medium-low heat until everything is fragrant and softened. Hands up if you really enjoy the aroma that emanates with this initial cooking stage. I've said this a million times before, mpaka na jua na wabosana. But I really, really enjoy the aroma of this initial cooking stage. Always be careful not to burn the garlic. One tip you can use is to add the garlic towards the end after the onions have really softened. Or if you're like me, I like adding my garlic at the beginning so that the flavor really sits into the oil. But what I make sure to do is just to temper my heat. So make sure during this stage, your heat is low. Now that the onions have cooked down to the exact level of perfection I want them to, I'm going to proceed with the next step. And for that, I'm going to add my tomato paste followed by my bay leaves and then some hot water to allow everything to cook down. I am completely falling in love with the amazingly beautiful deep rich red color that the contents of my pan has. It looks very amazing and I think that's largely attributed to the tomato paste and I have to point out if you prefer to use tomatoes as opposed to tomato paste, it's completely fine. The thickness and the deep color may vary because the two ingredients are different. However, it will still be perfectly fine. I also added my bay leaves at this stage because they are dried and not fresh and I wanted the flavors to awaken and seep into the tomato base very, very well. I really love my bay leaves for my rich um, savory dishes like beef stews, my curries, like my egg curry recipes. You guys love my egg curry recipe. And I know you're going to love my kabakupaka as well. Besides having bay leaf as an amazing ingredient for my savory dishes, I like having it as part of my food because it promotes good skin health and it also enables good digestive health. As I mentioned before, Musio gope your herbs, musio gope your spices. You can find your bay leaf in any well stocked supermarket spice aisle. The large can goes for about 120 shillings. And I also saw they introduced the very, very small cans that go for 44 shillings. Guys, we see never 44 bob. If you can buy your ice cream, if you can buy your pombe, ni watu pombe, you can afford to buy the bay leaves for 44 shillings. I shared this on Twitter and I've also shared it this information right here right now so now we're going to go in with the spices and for that i'm going to use my turmeric my dried thyme my cumin and my black pepper ah everything smells amazing and i know without doubt this fantastic aroma is not only in my kitchen but in the entire neighborhood and i know wanatamani kukuja hapa but me mchoyo nitafula peke yangu i have no doubt this will turn out so so well judging from how it smells and i'm so excited about this dish and now that we've mixed in all our spices we're just going to let this simmer and then we're going to add a key ingredient for my kamba kupaka and that's my coconut milk Coconut milk will, will not only add a nice full-bodied creamy flavor, but also a nice mild nuttiness, which is a key characteristic, characteristic for any kambawa kupaka. I purchased my coconut milk from our local supermarket. The small packet goes for, for 130 shillings and I used three quarter of it, so you have more than enough. I used the brand by Cara. I fell out of it 
I fell out of love with it a few weeks back, but nowadays I just seem to enjoy it because it's very, very fragrant. fragrant. Ooh, why am I stuttering? Anyway, this is not an ad. I'm just putting you on to a nice coconut milk brand. So we are going to go right ahead and add our milk. Mix everything in, then cover with a lid and allow everything to simmer on low heat for all the flavors to come together. Now that our rich coconut sauce is simmering, let's speak about the other main ingredient and that is our prawns. Prawns, which we call here in Kenya Kamba, they are seafood, obviously, and here in Nairobi you can purchase some from City Market, stall number 52. I'm going to search for the contacts and link them down below, but in the event I don't have the contacts for this particular stall, just remember it's stall number 52. I bought mine already cleaned, but if you prefer to clean yours at home, just purchase the whole prawn and then clean them at home. Just a note, sometimes they give you already prepackaged prawn and shrimp. Make sure you check that they are cleaned and deveined. Do not let them pack for you before you make sure that they are uh, cleaned and deveined because sometimes they can pack for you, but they have been cleaned but not deveined. That has happened to me sometime in the past. So a word of caution, just make sure that they have been cleaned and deveined. If they ask you why you want to check, just tell them Kaluhi <laughs> Alisema. You can use this exact recipe with shrimp as well, but today we are doing kamba, so kamba it is. Now we're going to let this simmer for another five minutes. I'm going to put this back in the fridge because you know seafood is very, very sensitive. Clear my sink, then we're going to come back and finish the cooking process. After about 10 to 15 minutes with the coconut milk soft, nice and thick, Take your camber and add it into the sauce. Sprinkle some lime zest over it, cover with a lid and let it cook for 4 minutes. Thereafter, give it a nice mix, add a generous splash of lime juice and let it cook for another 3 minutes. Once your camber turns from transparent to white, you are done and you're ready to serve. I'm always one to be excited about food, but for this dish, oi, 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 I am a million times more excited. It looks fantastic and I know it's going to taste amazing. I'm yet to take photos for my vlog, so I can't quite taste, but I know it's going to be mm, perfect. I'm going to cook some rice and enjoy my kambawa kupaka with it. If you're yet to subscribe, please do. I hope you enjoyed this video. For me, it's now time to go have my lunch. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy Wednesday and thank you so much for being part of K Nation. Bye bye.